Sunday is the big game in LA and Uber is charging surcharges for pickup and drop-offs at the game. Have you heard of something like this before? Let's dive right in. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. And yes, Uber is claiming that they're going to be charging surcharges both Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in LA around the vicinity of any of the Super Bowl events that are going on. And that includes SoFi Stadium and some of the things that they're doing throughout the week. So the question is, have you ever heard of surcharges being applied to the passengers just because of a pickup or a drop-off based on events? Because I haven't heard that yet. Now, being on the driver end, you'll actually see something like if you take a ride that originated from the pickup lot at the stadium or a stadium that might be near you, then you might get $20 extra for the ride, $50 extra for the ride, depending on what they're passing out for the promotion. I've never seen a surcharge on a rider end from a pickup or drop off location where it might originate besides the airport. The airport is its own little beast, but this is designed for events. So have you seen something like this, something like Coachella or another large event like a football game where there's 70,000 people coming, whatever it is, have you seen something like this? Comment below and let me know. But going on, what the surcharge is going to be on game day, which is on Sunday, it's going to be $20 event surcharge for pickups and a $10 event surcharge for drop-offs. So if you're going to the game or around the area and you get dropped off there, it's going to be a $10 surcharge. And if you are getting picked up after the game, it's gonna be a $20 surcharge. Now, not only that, as I was saying, they're also charging a $10 surcharge throughout the week prior for events that are going on. So that is the convention center and entertainment complex from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. on Thursday, February 10th, Friday, February 11th, and Saturday, February 12th is going to have that $10 surcharge for any pickups in that general vicinity. So if you're going to the big game, well, enjoy, because it probably is going to be pretty good. And again, if you're looking to get picked up and dropped off as a rider, you're going to be seeing a surcharge. And then again, this is something that I haven't seen in a particular situation for events yet. Like I said, there are some pickup locations that have it tied directly to the location, mostly like airports where there's extra surcharges there. And have you seen something like this? Please comment, let us know. Let us know what the event was, what the surcharge was, the time, any information that you can give. Please let us know because like I said, we haven't seen something like this when it came to an event surcharge based on a particular situation like a Super Bowl event or other large event that is happening. So comment below, let us know. Also, what do you think of a surcharge for events? And do you think that the driver is going to get 100% of that surcharge or a percentage? What do you think that percentage is going to be? And what are your thoughts on the surcharge overall? Comment below, let us know. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Make sure you subscribe, ring that bell. Also, make sure to like the video and sound off in the comments, as I said, as well as if you are missing anything from the Rideshare Guy, because unfortunately, YouTube does not always want to give you notifications when new videos come out. Make sure you're following us and subscribe to our email newsletter where you're going to get all the information from the Rideshare Guy. Link is going to be in the description below and the pinned comment. So make sure you sign up and Drive safe, everyone.